sacrifice. As we make this trip again to the Federal Court this 28th of October, I'm reminded of similar trips before this, either to the courts, to the police lockup, or to prison. It has not been in vain. In the 16 years, we have managed to establish a truly multiracial party and coalition. We have managed to deny the two-thirds majority of the six-decade-old government in power. And we have managed to wrest, garner, majority of the popular support in the last general elections. We left AMNO dependent on as many as 30 seats on the back of postal and early votes. Yet, despite all these, if we still decided the Anwar Ibrahim trial is a mere personal issue, marginalised to the sidelines of history, then we might as well accept the fact that the government knows best, that corruption is acceptable, that religious and racial provocation is the norm in the name of politics, that selective bias prosecution and persecution is okay, that declining educational standards negate the fact that we have the best education system in the world. Instead, you know that the Anwar Ibrahim trial is an affront to our judiciary. The Anwar Ibrahim trial is an affront to the litany of corruption cases that takes place with no one being held responsible. The International Commission of Jurists concluded that the convictions of Anwar Ibrahim and Lim Guan Ng were as a result of decisions influenced by the government of the day. So persevere, fight on. The march towards democracy will ensure we realise a truly independent judiciary. The march towards democracy will ensure we realise a free press. And the march towards democracy will ensure that we have a professional police institution with a police chief that does not issue thuggish like threats for fun or beat his prisoners when they're handcuffed in his custody and blindfolded. The march towards democracy will realise truly free and fair elections with an election commission that is bent on serving you. Sacrifice. We shall miss our father. But remember, he's not alone. There are many others. The Tianchuas, Surendran, Fahmi Zainal, the University of Malaya student, Adam Adli, Azmi Sharom. We never stand alone. The truth will prevail. And we shall march together in realising a better future for Malaysia for all of us. Remember, fight on for us, our future, for you and me. See you this 28th.